I expect him. Leon wins a very stacked C tier and gets ah, 15. Ah, there we go. No, I recognize it now. The yellow Yoshi. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Linky going to be hopping over to Toon Link. Okay. Staying true to his name. I think this is exactly what you wanted to see. It is. Uh, one thing that we might see in this matchup is that Toon Link's bombs, whereas ordinarily they would, you know, just stuff a character out offstage, Yoshi does have super armor, so he can get through them. Gonna have to see how creative Linky can get with these edge guards. Mm -hmm. And also, Yoshi's got the aerial power, is able to use it all, but oh my god, Linky's starting off with 46% already, just like that. He's able to catch his own bomb and use a Nair. He's confirming off of this. This is very interesting. Yes, yeah, 72% racked up immediately with a bit of recklessness, but a lot of carefulness as well. The style and the precision coming out, and that's a deadly combination for any Toon Link player. When you have these projectiles set us on point, when you have the zoning tools necessary, and when you can get Maiko off stage, the up smash call out, good return to the stage, and finally has this pressure he wants. Mm, and Mako's got a bomb in his hands, so he's gotta be a little bit careful using a dash shot to catch him out. Linky, making sure to use his bombs whenever he's in a disadvantage state to catch out Mako when he's trying to jump. And now he's setting up camp with these projectiles. He's holding on to the bomb, knowing that he can get a confirm off of that one. They got pretty long fuse time. And Linky, if there's one thing that Tuning Lux to, loves to do, his Nair is such a is a pretty good move. But it's his tilts in the neutral game that are really able to explode it out. And the up going to miss out. So Mako needs to be really careful. But speaking of that, he's getting some damage down with the Oshi bomb. Not enough to kill. Yeah, Linky has been slowly and surely falling back. But the up smash will secure the first off. Maiko was at too high of a percent to live that. And even with some of these dash attacks and low percent combos, the rage from Linky might just be putting on that advantage he needs. And right now he's holding out to the bomb, knowing he can get a confirm, and using that smoke to his advantage, making sure that Mako doesn't know exactly what's happening. And look at that, Yoshi Bomb in the wrong direction, thrown off by a little bit of the movement. Linky doing a great job so far with these aerials and as well as these projectiles. Yeah, Linky has been very liberal so far with these down airs. It does have a considerable amount of landing lag, but they've been working so far, and who am I to question it? Good back air from Maiko, though, secures the first stock, and Linky now has to play this without the rage. He played it with. Yeah, I remember, uh, do you remember that those tether grabs are awfully slow, and they're easily punished out, and Maiko actually himself is getting punished out for those whiffed aerials, and he gets bomb confirmed with that fair. Linky showing off exactly that two Link is to not be slept down. He is actually able to perform against the other Links. He just needs to be given that time. Yeah, Yoshi not light by any means as he just narrowly avoids that air dodge, but Maiko has to find some passageway back into this game and cannot fall into these bomb setups as he has been so often. Oh, he used it in the wrong direction. He's not able to get back. Tether grabbed to the right when the stage was the other direction. That up special, the hero spin almost giving him that height that he needed, but inches away. And now all of a sudden, this is about an even game. Yeah, he's using the best as he can. And here comes the back air once more, forcing out a little more of the options. Maiko, being the best control of the match. And look, these up tilts are forcing him out. Up the tilts on Toon Link are ridiculously good. They combo into each other, especially in the neutral game. And he drops his shield. Perhaps it was an accident he dropped the shield, but it was actually good because that would have shattered it unless he got that perfect parry, but needs to be super careful. Mako evening it up so fast, showing exactly how well he's able to adapt, but speaking of that, Linky doing a really good job. He is good fair, but gets the sweet spot and doesn't convert off of it. Of course, you can get an up air or an up tilt in the direction and the height that you want, but he's just hunting for these options and not getting them. Mm -hmm. He's got to be careful, and he tried to get a bomb confirmed, but I think he wanted a bear and not that... Not the up air, but he gets hit up by the bomb. Oh, he's going for a hard read. You can't overextend like that. He's got to be careful because that fair near the edge of the stage will surely kill. And he swallows him up. He's able to bash out just in time. Mako is actually going to be it right now. An offstage shenanigans happening right now. But, oh my god, we're right back to the neutral on quote unquote. But both of them are at kill percent. Yeah, 125% for Linky, 127 for Mako. One more hit might do it. Perhaps a forward throw. No, the up throw was not high enough, but... Makes it back safely, and this is very defensive play from both characters. One more hit might do it. The forward air almost taking him off the top. Oh, the bomb almost got it. He tried to get the confirm using the down air. The boomerang catching him off for a little more damage. Maiko and Linky are fighting back and forth. 160%! He's holding it down, but he's not going to get a punish about there. The Yoshi bomb once more. He's got the confirm. Game number one yeah, goes Link in Linky's favor. Linky almost threw that one away, but the up air was so clutch at the very end. He just put that shield pressure onto Yoshi until he just had no option but to low, go upwards and couldn't land at all. Yoshi's airspeed is the best in the game, but 
even so, wasn't able to drift out of that in time. Yeah, unable to find his way out of there. And he's got to get those bomb confirms off. And Linky performing so well on this Toon Link, showing off exactly what he can do. He's able to get those bomb confirms just like Young Link. But Maiko definitely started to adapt later on in the game, so he's got to watch out for it. Yeah, indeed. No switch in the characters, but we are going to see a switch in the stage here as we're going to a variant of Spiral Mountain. Mm -hmm. Going to see some of that banjo music as well. I hope they chose the music. I think Obi's Ballad is pretty good. I mean, it's no Treasure Trove Crove, but yeah, it's true. decent. Eh, it's, it's all right. The banjo music in this game, the remixes that Nintendo have done are very impressive. They really are. Shout out to Grant Kirkhoff, by the way. His music was so really... Like, it fit Smash really well. As mm -hmm. Sakurai said, it's country, so it, it's not a natural fit, but the remixes were... They sound like they belong oh, in this game. Oh, they're spectacular. Yeah, but right now, this is the Battlefield stage, and here it comes, audience, the audience right now. Here comes the spin. Remember, this is a counterpick to players who do have motion sickness. Do keep that in mind. Yeah, if you're a bit nauseated easily, then might not want to go here. Might want to consider banning Battlefield and FD almost immediately. Mm -hmm. I don't think that the variations of this one should be legal. In my opinion, that spin is a little bit disorientating. It does quite a little bit of problems, but stage is not what we're talking about right now. That downer shatters shields, and Michael goes for the up air, but unable to find anything in return. He went for the fair spike, but it will bear no fruit. Quick Nair offstage, but does not get the follow-up. That dare poking through the platform, and now Linky has changed control. Grounded hero spin, no, not quite. He's using his bombs to cover his recovery. He's able to land safely. Michael has to respect it, but the back air, he didn't hold onto his shield long enough. I believe he did. It just may have poked there. And Ugh. Michael, with the pressure he'd been putting on with the eggs and a few other projectiles and space moves, good uh, dare to return. Has the lock as well. Oh, my God. Here it comes. This damage, 79%. He tried to get the follow-up, but Linky is able to sneak in a downer for himself. But 85% of that exchange, that's so worth it. He did not just do that. Maiko, you're absolutely insane. Gets the fair spike he was looking for to go up three stocks to one and right off of the stage. The bomb just popped him up right into the exact spot he wanted and an easy conversion, but the hero spin towards the edge of the stage will easily do it for Linky. I may have gotten a little too excited. You but, may have. Oh, that was so impressive by Maiko was able to read it out. Really impressive play by him. Can't blame you for that one. I got tons of energy in me, but here comes the up tilts he's been talking about. Mako didn't have his double jump there. He usually uses it to escape those combos, but is able to find himself out of that one. Needs to be a little bit of careful, because remember, Linky, he's able to get these projectiles and able to get the percentage, but I think it's the fact that Linky struggles to kill and being a stock down. That doesn't sound too good. Yeah, Linky is a game up, but he's certainly not playing like it, getting so impatient with some of these tether grabs and bomb setups, going for them almost before they connect. And if the bomb does hit, that's good, that's free reign, but if it doesn't hit and Yoshi manages to drift around it, Yoshi just has that free window to punish. They have to get something down. Here comes the jab once more. Mako's been uh, re-grabbing ledge a lot. It seems that Link just can't find a punish. He keeps going for the hero spin to try to read something, but every time he's done it so far, it's failed, and he's gotten punished in return. Now Link, he's descending back with the help of some of these bombs. Good up smash read through the platform. Gets him with the egg. Almost got the fair spike to finish it off, but he'll have to settle. Not going to hit that twice. Oh, but the hero spin almost beats out the egg roll. Egg roll, yeah, I was about to say egg spin, but he's able to clip him out from there. And this time it does work, but Mako. Oh, he's a whole stock up and 89%. He's going for a hard read, but remember, Linky can stack up damage fast. He can, and give him an inch, he will take a mile. If Linky can get some of these boomerang setups, get him caught in shield, the tether grab will poke him from a very far distance. Uh, here comes the fair once more. Linky's got to be careful offstage. He's able to step it back, and the bomb actually recovers him a little more. Mako's got to be careful. A bomb can confirm can throw him off stage, and he's definitely got to watch out for it. Here it comes, the jab block. No way that kills. Yes. Oh, my God. Slowly but surely, Mako has been making his way back into this game and has to be wary of the regrab. Mako does send him straight upwards, and that up smash through the platform. Mako just got so patient, and Linky was throwing out these dares so freely, and... Finally, Mako got the punish. Yeah, he knew it was coming. He waited up there. He baited it out using the double jump up, and then he quickly went down knowing that he likes to go for that panic down there. And that time, it was punished. So game number three, Linky versus Mako. A lot of tight sets happening right now. We are. This one could go either way. We saw both games, both Linky and Mako were staving off late comebacks from their opponents and barely managed to clutch it out with a risky committal option, but one that landed nonetheless. Nice, taking a dig, big deep breath in. Mako versus Linky, game number three. They're going to be sticking to their comfort characters, but we're moving on to Pokemon Stadium 2. 
It should give him some maneuverability for Linky to move around. I think that's definitely why he picked it. But Mako, he's definitely got a plan out if he's letting it slip by with a band. Yeah, acres of horizontal space for Mako to play with. But Linky, of course, will be looking to cover that with some of these boomerangs and arrows in early setups. And right now, Linky, he's playing a little more defensive than usual, as you can tell by his bombs. And his shield's awfully slow. Low, I should say. He's got to be careful. And Mako try to catch out with those jabs. And here comes the smoke, like I said. It really does It really does cover up exactly what Linky is doing. It's hiding in there. Yeah, it's a good bit of a mask there. Almost can't even tell what option he's throwing out until it's too late. Interesting trade there, although it does not punish the dare. Oh, he swallowed him offstage. He went for the fair spike, but Mako unable to find it. He knows that he's got to get some fast attacks in order to take this game, but Linky slowing it down. He actually gets beaten up. He gets grabbed out of his downer, but the jab going to be punished. So Mako forced offstage. It's his percent advantage, but just barely. He's going to deposit himself towards the ledge there, positioning himself, trying to prevent Mako from even thinking of getting towards that center stage. A little bit of a projectile fight coming in right now. Mako does lose it, so he's got to be a little careful. Linky happily just pressuring him off to the corner, forcing him off, knowing that a quick bomb confirm could potentially take a stock. So Mako's got to be careful. He's comfortably sitting in the corner, actually. Yeah, if you're Mako, you cannot play this dis this matchup at a mid range. Almost got the roll read, but poked him with the last hit of the day on the shield. And now with that egg coming out, he has him off stage. Mm -hmm. He went low for it, but Linke. Gonna recover a little higher. He's got to be careful of that egg roll. Actually catches him up for a little more damage, and the up smash from Mako completely whiffs. But once again, we're back to throwing projectiles at each other. And now Mako is drifting back to the right, although got caught with a bomb and was very lucky that that up air didn't come out of millisecond earlier because that would have killed the back throw. Might do it. Mm -mm, won't kill just yet. It's gonna be a okay for now. He's throwing out these bombs left and right and masking his movement. So Mako's got to be careful. A bomb confirm into an up air should be able to take a stock. He's got to play around it. Good landing there from Linky. And pokes Ooh. him with a back air as he returns to stage. Maiko is going to be taking first blood here in game three. Yeah, shield poke and aerials name a more iconic duo with Yoshi. That downer, that back air, so good. He's yeah. able to provide so much pressure. Absolutely. Had to release shield there because it almost was on the verge of breaking and gets hit with a bomb in the up air only moments later. This is an even game able to get those confirms off. And here comes the boomerang, getting 33%, but this time Mako went for a quick Yoshi bomb, knowing that Linky likes to go for it. He's pressuring that shield. I'd like to see more grabs out of that one. Because Mako, he's fearless on that uh, while holding the shield, but it's gonna pay it's gonna bite him in the back eventually. He is and now gets the up air convert off of the bomb, but Mako, resilient as ever, makes it back with the down air. Mm -hmm. He tried to go for a jab lock. Anticipating that Linky would miss the tech, but Linky, all that adrenaline right now is working in his favor because he's not missing a move at all. He's not missing a beat. Yeah, 100% down, and Linky will get him back off stage with the F tilt. Lands into that grounded hero spin, and Linky is going to be in the advantage here. All the momentum in his favor. Mm -hmm, and that's what I criticized earlier that he's going for these hero spins, but this time it is working out that Mako starting to get conditioned into going for these really unsafe options, and it actually pushes him off using the win box. Has to burn the air dodge to get back already out of a jump and neutral get ups right back into the tether grab. Mm, he's able to find about Yoshi's got the bomb in his hand and he's holding shield once more, but he's gonna get hit by it. He's getting hit by his own bomb. Okay, that sounds really weird. But Mako, he's in a really big disadvantage right now. Linky, he's a projectile character, so he's able to really run away from these stocks and the great parry, but no punish just yet because it is Yoshi Nair after all. Yeah, Linky barely even has to move at this point because Maiko is coming to him in a bit. Ill-advised timing there. Just goes in right as the bomb is about to expire, and even those trades will work out in Linky's favor. Mm -hmm. Everything's working out. He's getting all these bomb confirms. Yoshi's got to be careful. His disadvantage could be quite interesting. And he's got horrible landing options. He's going for a hard read. Remember, in these panic situations, these players, they need to go for these kills, and they get way too overzealous about it and do really unsafe options. And right now, Linky, he's just going to get the hero spin, and that's going to take the stop. It is. Linky, of course, with a two stock to close it out. It was looking like a matter of if and not when, or when and not if, towards the latter half of that game. And 